Welcome to the Appalachian Heritage Woodshop. Woodworking with an Appalachian flair. This is Gerald Vance with the Appalachian Heritage Woodshop. As a woodworker, I'm sure you've heard the old saying, you can never have too many clamps. Well, to me, the most important thing is a variety of clamps because your clamping requirements continually change. So here behind me, you can see I have some K-body clamps, some pipe clamps, quick grip clamps, some F-style clamps, some wooden jaw Jorgensen clamps, some specialty clamps down here, face frame, Craig jigs, some C clamps, some band clamps, some flat bar clamps. Over here, I have some edge clamps, some picture frame clamps, some special clamping tape, and some spring clamps. So you can see I have a pretty good variety. But the most versatile and most underused clamping system in my shop is a vacuum system. I've got one over on my bench. Let's go over there and I'll show you the vacuum clamping system that I built. Here's the vacuum clamping system that I built. I've got to give credit to joewoodworker.com for the design. Uh, you can purchase all of the components online. It's really simple to make if you follow the directions. So let me go over the uh, different parts of the vacuum system. Here I have a bag, and as you can see, I've got a quick clamp. Here I am isolating the vacuum bag and venting the vacuum pump to make sure it responds. You can see the gauge. So here is the vacuum pump. This is the filter, the mic valve, the check valve and a small reservoir. I have a large reservoir on the back side of this unit. And here is the vacuum controller. Here's a vacuum system in use. As you can see, I've got the legs inside the vacuum bag. Vacuum's been applied, so you can see the form has put a lot of pressure on it here. Here's the uh, vacuum pressure. The pump will kick on and off to maintain the pressure. Back here's the uh, vacuum bag and I've already got the legs inside of it and you can see the pressure that's being applied. I do use a lot of this mesh uh, to protect the bag from the sharp edges and to protect the uh, legs from getting glued together. Uh, so this goes underneath, on top, and between uh, the legs. I've got two legs in there now. And you can see my clamping system here. It just clamps the uh, mouth of the bag closed. So this vacuum system is doing great. I'll leave this in the vacuum bag for about two to three hours and then uh, release the pressure and take it out and put two more legs in it and that'll be done. So this is a very versatile clamping system. It's absolutely great if you do laminate glue up like rockers for a rocking chair, any type of form. And of course, it's also good for inlay work. So I highly encourage you to do some research and consider building your own vacuum clamp system. They work great. This is Gerald Vance with the Appalachian Heritage Woodshop reminding you, be proud of your Appalachian heritage. <music>